understand the next two types now these are the most important ones okay because now underlying kubernetes is going to do a rolling update but how are you going to do the rolling update in such a way where it has lesser impact for the customers so that's one we have two types of deployment okay so the first most important out of that is blue green so don't worry about the name called blue green but understand the concept so blue and green that means at any time you are going to have two set of your replicas so what do you mean by that so in a rolling update what did we do we created one by one and we were replacing it with the old one so instead of that in a blue green assume your current build deployed is blue now you want to replace the replicas with green replicas so instead of deleting the blue while the blue is still running you are going to bring those new replicas okay so that is where at any time if you see you will also have the old replicas and you will also have completely new replicas and then we will switch the traffic so that's why we call it as blue green so blue green indicates one old version and one new version okay so if you try to understand this is where so let's assume that i have a build okay and let's say that color of that build i'm giving it as green okay now there is a service and you will be accessing now i want to change this or upgrade this to a new build called blue version of the replicas so when you are following the blue green model what we will do we will not touch this existing existing will still be there customers will still be accessing the old versions first we will bring our new replicas with the new image so that way suppose if blue build is my new image then we will create this containers or replicas okay so now once all of them is successfully up then all i have to do is instead of the service mapping to this replicas we just have to make sure that the service will map to this replicas so that way what will happen because how does a service picks a pod using label so if i take the same label whatever i have applied for the service to point to this particular object or this replicas then when you access service it will just send the traffic so it's a matter of second your traffic will be redirected from old one to new one so this way while your old one is still running you created a new set of replicas and once you verify this is successfully running then it's all about switching the traffic okay so such a method is called as blue green because there is one set of replicas which is old and you also have a new set okay so ideally you can consider something like one is having the old version the other one is the new version now at any time if there is a problem so let's assume i sent the traffic but then we realize something is not working then i want to roll back so how can i roll back you don't have to do just change the label traffic will send to the old one so i don't have to delete stop anything at that time but immediately your rollback will happen traffic will be sent so that's how your application will be not at all brought down because it's like for example you have two facebooks running old facebook new facebook as soon as the new facebook containers are up i will change my traffic to point to the new one so as a user or a customer you will just see a glitch that's all but you won't see the difference because you will start accessing everything as it is but you are not accessing the old version you are accessing the new version same way if there is a problem i can simply roll back by just changing the traffic so this is how in blue green method you are going to have two sets of your applications one with old version and new version and it's actually about just switching the traffic so such a kind of method is what we call it as blue green okay but kubernetes doesn't support anything like this so that's where we need to take rolling update and on top of that we have to implement the strategy by ourselves okay 
So today we will just see how to do it manually, but the same thing in real time, you're not gonna sit and do. So we are going to automate, which is where we will use more new concepts called GitOps, your Argo CD, Argo rollouts, those kind of things, okay? But today just understand the concept. So you, you're going to have two set of replicas and just switching the traffic. And this is where blue green method helps you to do a zero downtime deployment. So you can immediately deploy. So as a customer, I'm telling, hey, I will do the deployment at this minute. It's just a matter of seconds for me, but internally I have to do a lot of work. But from a customer point, we will say there is no impact. It's just a second which I will change the traffic. Okay, same way if I want to roll back, it's gonna be easy, okay? But what is the disadvantage? So now, if you have 100 replicas, if you want to replace this 100 replicas with new 100 replicas, then what you need? The same amount of capacity is needed, so you need double the resources, okay? That is one huge problem. And second problem is, before you switch the traffic, what will happen? You need to test all the new replicas properly, and only when you are fine, then switch the traffic whereas in the other methods what will happen old replica new replica both are running together so it's an easier way to test whereas here for you before you switch you have to make sure that the new replicas are completely tested okay and then it's again not suitable for stateful application but if you have a stateless application and if you want to deploy it on production one of the method which is very much suitable is blue green so now if you understand whenever you are doing a ci cd especially on production if your application is stateless then you need to add the strategy called blue green and like i said create the new replicas and then switch the traffic so it's not just that kubernetes and production you write a manifest and then say kubectl apply so you need to follow this method okay so let's try to see this practically again uh, i'm just taking roughly my first build as blue second build as green and my third build as orange okay so now ah, this disconnected again so once again there is not going to be any change in the manifest file because we are going to use the same default rolling update but the way that we are going to do is now i need to make sure if my application is running i need to have two deployment sets two replica set and four replicas all together that is how and we are going to have if you need two services to access okay so let's connect first i'll uh, delete the old one okay so here for the convenience i have put two things one is blue other one is green okay so let's assume now this is the first build i'm deploying so that is blue.yaml so here it's the same service okay and i'm giving a particular label selector called blue deployment and it is node port and come here it's a deployment and the selector or the label is blue deployment and i'm using the blue image okay so first time nothing will be there so if you go ahead and say kubectl apply okay so now kubectl get all so your replicas are running and it's 32700 anyway so this is the first deployment where it has a blue based image a blue image and two replicas are running so in blue green i'm not going to do anything so now I need to have a new deployment object as per this diagram, what we understood. And we are going to create two replicas out of whatever the image. So let's say now I want to replace it with green. So 
we don't actually replace in the first place first let's create a new deployment object and two new replicas based out of that green okay and this is where i also have one more file called green.yaml and if you look in this i'm creating one more service for now to show you okay and this has a label called green and if you go up so it's a new object called green deployment and it's going to use green so at any time you are having two sets okay and this is where now let's go ahead and say kubectl apply iphone f green okay so now if you actually see everything is going to be double okay so you still have your old version but you are also running your new version which is green okay and now if i want to access the new one then i can say 30478 okay now this is where suppose if you are a customer you will be still accessing the blue one but now before i change this i need to make sure my green deployment is success and after test so for that now if i have to do some post deployment verification or pdv then i should not be using this that's where we created a new service right so while this is running for our testing i can safely go ahead and take this 30478 okay so now i can do my post deployment verification on this whereas what is customers are still accessing your actual blue one okay so now once everything is fine and i've tested now all i have to do is switch the traffic which is what technically we call it as deployment here as a customer you will not see a impact right so now how do i make sure that this port number is referring to the green pots then all you have to do is here come back now in the service we had a label right so that label should map to green so what i can do for that just to show you now let me go to green so here all i will do is i will change the label here to blue that's all so i'll change this green to blue okay and there is a matching label here also blue so without interrupting anything okay so now if i just go ahead and apply this what happened immutable something oh the deployment is already running so what we will do now rather than changing here we will map the service label to this okay so what do you mean by that let's go to blue and here what is the service referring to the label called as blue so instead of that here we will change it to refer to green so then now it will point to green replicas okay in fact you should have kept it as a different yaml it would have been easy but anyway if you understand all i'm changing is the service port so if i change this to green and let's say kubectl apply so now i'm not changing any of your pods we are just switching the traffic so now if i come here and this is our original blue and if you just wait for a few seconds you should see this is going to receive the traffic from green pods okay if not yeah it's a little slow because of network but let me just do you see it's changing so now as a customer you are still accessing the same service same port but what is that you are now receiving you are receiving green now why you are still seeing blue is the old api calls are still there 
now if you just take few more seconds everything should be green so that's how the traffic is slowly moved from one old version to new version okay so this is called as blue green wherein what is the impact this is nothing so that's how you can call very clearly that you can see now matter of seconds there is no because still that blue reference was there it was trying to take it from the cache but right now as a customer yeah, for us it took hardly four five seconds right but if you have a better network this should also not happen so it's just matter of second where all the traffic goes so now as a user you are using the new version however you still have your old version and new version both running together okay that's where now at any time if there is a problem i can quickly go back and switch it all right so this is where now let's say there is a problem how do i switch i don't have to wait for anything just go to your service right and in this service just rename it so point to your blue replicas which is still there and now if you just apply that's all so your traffic will now start flowing to your blue you can see it's a little slow but understand the logic how soon we did right so that's how zero downtime is achieved so deploying is actually you're just switching okay so every time from a customer point when you say deployment you are just switching the traffic from old replicas to new replicas and this is how customers will not have huge impact and it's very easy for you to roll back if case there is a problem but the only disadvantage here is you need to make sure you have double the resources so if you have 10 replicas and for that you have five machines then in this case you need to have 20 replicas so 10 machines so that's one of the disadvantage okay but still this is one of the method again it depends on the business need wherein you don't have too many replicas then in those cases blue green will be very effective because a matter of seconds you can deploy everything wherein from outside you will not know but internally if you see you are trying to run anytime two set of replicas and then now safely i can go ahead and delete any one of them right suppose if i have deployed everything successfully so let's say now i deployed this to green then i can go ahead and delete blue after some time where you feel it's confident and uh, nothing is gonna break okay so let me just show that again so right now it is blue okay so what we will do we will uh, try to deploy this to red okay so just watch so i'll again take red dot yaml now i'll just replace everything here green with red all right so everything is changed and in fact your image will also be changed here okay yeah and this i have to change all right so let's go ahead and say kubectl okay now before that let me delete Adam, we can use replace also right here yeah. sorry uh cube cutl replace also we can use right instead of yeah you can do yeah but i'm just trying to show you how exactly you will do right so no matter what you do it's going to use rolling update method only but now if you see i'm not worried about how it is creating that new replicas one by one or whatever but my whole focus is from an application side how am i actually deploying which is where these two replicas whatever you creating that will be created in rolling update one by one but that's not my wish my interest is how am i giving this traffic which is what we actually call it as 
deployment. Okay. So now, okay. So I just have my blue ports. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the deployment with red. So assuming this is my new version. So once again, for this, you should see two ports. So totally four, and you will have a new service, right? So for the red, it's three, one, seven, double, six. Okay, so everything is running. So you test everything and technically like what I showed you in this diagram. So assume this is red. So once you have one of your old one and then you have your new one. Now, once this is successfully up, you just replace the traffic, right? And that's where if you come back now, this is what as a customer is using. So now if I want to change this, so go back to the same service that you are using. So here you just change this to red. Okay, and let's just apply. All right, and now come back here and you see traffic started flowing and over a period, the complete blue replicas traffic will go away and you can see only the red replicas are receiving the traffic. Okay, so gone, everything is red. And for any reason, if I want to roll back, it's very simple. Just go back to the same service definition and change this to the old image, whatever you have. So this is where labels are important. Okay. So once again, once it comes up, you can see traffic started flowing to blue and just in a matter of second, all the red will go and only blue will be there. Okay, gone. So that's where you roll back. So this is where rolling update is one of the production grade strategy where you will be able to get zero downtime, but it's more suitable for stateless application. So you need to understand what strategy is going to be suitable for your application. Because now if I have an application where I have hundreds of replicas then blue green will not be a right method but there are applications where you don't run too many replicas a fixed number of replicas in that way see there has to be something to be compensating right because if i have to do zero downtime then definitely for me it's not a problem that it's just one time where i make sure more machines are there but once the deployment is successfully up then i can delete the old Pots, and then I can delete all my machines also because that's where in your Kubernetes, if you are using a managed service like EKS or AKS, you can do the auto scaling of your machine. So you don't have to worry about creating machines also. Okay. But ideally, for a fixed number of replicas, blue green is definitely suitable. But it's not going to be suitable for some applications like a customer facing where dynamically scaling happens wherein all your web applications that you use right all the social networking stuff because millions of users log in at that time i cannot just create a complete copy of all those hundreds and thousands of replicas and this is where we have the next strategy okay but before going there let's delete all this So we know the disadvantage now. Yeah, at any time you don't delete anything. Make sure when everything is successfully up, what you're going to do, you're going to switch because until then you will still keep the old replicas. Right? That's where what we call it as that PDV post deployment verification. So there will be certain rules that you apply. So once it has been verified and all the traffic flows, maybe a company can keep it for one day or certain hours and then when everything is fine then they will go ahead and delete all the old replicas okay 
And this is where 